Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic. Today we'll be reviewing the Phoenix Metro real estate market as it is shifting. This video will explain in what direction you don't wanna miss if it. If this is your first time to our channel, my name is Sean Rogers, the lead of Mr. Rogers Homes, Arizona real estate team, and we make videos all about Arizona. My contact information can be found below, but for now, let's dive into the facts and figures about this month's Phoenix real estate market. Phoenix metro area market update, July 2022, looking back on June 2022. New listings. In June 2022, we had 12,054 as opposed to last month. So we're talking about May. There were 11,295. And last year, this time, there were 10,114. So we definitely have a lot more than May in June and that's what was expected. Thank you, Jennifer, for helping with this market update. You're spot on. When we see new listings increasing, it's an indicator that something's changing. You know what's changing? Interest rates, they're rising. That's causing some buyers to pump the brakes and recalculate where and what they want to buy in the realm of Arizona real estate. It also lets sellers know they may have waited too long to sell their properties. Fear not, the Mr. Rogers Homes team has a state-of-the-art marketing system, and I can explain that when we talk. It's not a bad time to be selling, it's actually still a great time to be selling, but it's starting to shift to a more buyer's advantage. We're not there yet, and I don't think that we're ever going to see a 50% buyer to 50% seller ratio, but these figures that we're talking about will clearly point out which direction we're going. So stay tuned, and let's continue on. Active listing, 14,016. Wow. Exactly. And in May, there were 9,379. And last year, this time, there were 5,002. That is a significant increase from last year. So this means that a lot of homes are on the market and staying on the market longer. As the saying goes, numbers never lie. With active listings, we're up significantly from last month and darn near triple from last year. There are the facts. Buyers are taking their time, they could be more selective, and sellers may be rushing to get the Mr. Rogers Homes posts put in their front yard. Smart move, I'll explain why. If you have any questions in the realm of real estate here in the Valley of the Sun, reach out to me. Now's the time to talk about making the best move for you and yours. Closed listing, 7,591. And in May, there were 8,283. Last year, this time, there were 9,682. So you can see that not as many homes are closing as they have been previously. Thus, they are on the market longer. Exactly, Jennifer. When we see closed listings decreasing and inventory increasing, that's all you need to know to put the story together. Well, there's some other pieces to the puzzle that you definitely want to know. So continue to watch this video and or reach out to us. We'd be happy to explain what the next moves for you should be, could be, would be month supply of inventory in june there was just under two months at 1.85 in may there was just over one month at 1.13 and last year this time it was about two weeks of inventory at 0.52 so the supply has definitely increased. Month supply of inventory. It's one of my favorite indicators of where the market's going based on where it's been. I like to see about three months of inventory. Last year at this time, we were at two weeks. Now we're almost at two months, darn near quadrupled. And that puts the market more towards even keel, buyers to sellers, which creates smooth sailing. Pardon the seller's pun, but I think you understand when the stars align and we get more towards a 50-50 balance, it's easier to negotiate transactions on the behalves of sellers who could become buyers and buyers who might become sellers. Average days on market, 28. In May, it was 25. And last year, this time, it was 25. 
So increased a little bit, not very much, but I'm interested to see what happens in uh, July. I've seen more homes on the market longer and price reduction, so we will see. Here's my professional prediction on average days on market. They're going to steadily increase. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. When it comes to listing a house for sale, the Mr. Rogers Homes team still follows the tried and true three Ps. In fact, that's a video on this channel. While we're on that subject, make sure you check out some of our other videos. We have Hiking Arizona, Golfing Arizona, the Top Lakes of Arizona. Of course, we have a ton of videos on homes for sale and excellent real estate advice. Back to the Phoenix Metro Market update. When we see the average days on market increasing, sometimes, and with all due respect to other agents, other teams, other firms, they may not have followed the three Ps which, in case you were curious, stands for price, product, and promotion. I'd be more than happy to explain that when we talk. Those three keys are a necessity to making sure we bring as many potential buyers to your house for sale as possible. That's what gets it sold. Average sales price. In June, it was 596,510, and in May, it was 597,214. So it actually went down from the previous month. And then last year, this time, it was 512,743, only an $84,000 difference, as opposed to the previous months when we compared them with the previous year. The profit margin was about 100000 so you can see that the prices have gone down. At last, what everybody's been waiting for, the end. No, I'm joking. Average sales price. Okay, looks like we're a little under where we were last month, but most potential sellers should still be up huge from last year. Now, I can't speak specifically for every potential seller. Well, technically I could. All they would have to do is reach out to me and we would send them a free, no obligation, CMA, comparable market analysis. Then we will know exactly where the profits and loss statement would be for their particular houses. But back to the Phoenix real estate market at hand, specifically average sales price. It looks like with inventory and interest rates rising, if you're thinking about selling, now's the time. Because the longer you think about it, perhaps the longer the house would stay on the market or the lower your profit margin will be because it's going to become more of a competitive market with more houses on the market. Thank you so much for watching our videos. My name, again, Sean Rogers, the lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes team. I wish you nothing but the best. Please take care and God bless America.